Hello, gamers. Today, I'm going to introduce the game Ninja Gaiden 2. The Dark Sword of Chaos is an action platform video game developed and published by Tecmo for the Nintendo Entertainment System (NES). It is the second installment in the Ninja Gaiden series and was released in 1990. The game continues the story of the protagonist, Ryu Hayabusa, a skilled ninja warrior. Following the events of the first game, Ryu embarks on a new quest to stop the evil forces led by Ashta, who wields the Dark Sword of Chaos. Ashta plans to use this powerful weapon to plunge the world into darkness. Ninja Gaiden 2, the Dark Sword of Chaos retains the fast-paced action and challenging platforming elements of its predecessor, while introducing several new gameplay features and improvements. One notable addition is the ability for Ryu to create shadow clones of himself, which mimic his movements and attacks. These clones can be strategically positioned to deal with enemies and obstacles more effectively. The game is known for its tight controls, intricate level design, and a variety of enemies and bosses that test players' reflexes and strategic thinking. The stages are diverse, featuring different environments such as forests, mountains, and industrial areas, each with unique challenges and hazards. Ninja Gaiden 2, The Dark Sword of Chaos also features an engaging storyline presented through cinematic cutscenes, a hallmark of the Ninja Gaiden series. The narrative unfolds between levels, providing players with a deeper understanding of Ryu's quest and the characters he encounters. The graphics and sound design of Ninja Gaiden 2 are praised for their quality and atmospheric contributions to the overall experience. The game soundtrack, composed by Rika Shurjino, Mayuko Okamura, and Miyoko Takaaka, complements the intense action with memorable and dynamic music. Overall, Ninja Gaiden 2, The Dark Sword of Chaos is celebrated for its challenging gameplay, innovative mechanics, and captivating story. It remains a beloved title among fans of the series and retro gaming enthusiasts, solidifying its place as a classic in the action platformer genre. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.